Hi friends, this is Lara, aka Lulu Sketches. Sorry for my videos being all over the place lately. I've been going through some stuff. I wasn't planning on making a video about this, but since it's the only thing I can really think about right now, it's gonna be the video for this week. I think talking about it will be a good coping mechanism for me because I tend to just bottle things up, which ends up making me more upset. And then maybe I find myself wandering around crying in public at the local Ikea. Not that I did that. Sorry if you witnessed that. Recently, my French Bulldog Mabel had to have emergency surgery on her spine. She was experiencing paralysis in her back legs and we weren't sure if she was ever gonna walk again. And this was due to intervertebral disc disease, IVDD. So today I'm going to talk a bit about IVDD, Mabel's journey to recovery and how to try to prevent IVDD in your dog. Hey Mabel. So here's Mabel, she's healing up nicely. She had surgery about a week ago. It looks a little scary, but uh, she's feeling good. She has staples in her back and we can get those out in a couple weeks. Um, she's healing up nicely. Hey, and she's feeling much better. Hi. <laughs> So IVDD stands for intervertebral disc disease. There are cushioning discs between the vertebrae of the spine and sometimes these discs can slip out or bulge and put pressure on the nerves running through the spinal cord which can cause severe pain or paralysis. Certain breeds are more likely to get IVDD such as dachshunds, corgis, beagles, bulldogs, and even some larger breeds like Labradors and German Shepherds. IVDD is a degenerative disease, but it can be triggered by a dog jumping wrong or landing wrong or running on stairs, anything that can put stress on the spine. Mabel's IVDD first showed up a couple years ago. I was at work with Mabel. I brought Mabel with me to Disney and Mabel was just sleeping on her bed and suddenly she woke up and started shaking uncontrollably. I could tell she was in severe pain and I rushed her to the vet. At the vet, they did an x-ray and they were pretty positive that what was causing the pain was a disc slipping in her spine. But with medication and strict bed rest, Mabel healed on her own within a few weeks. Mabel's IVDD came back around three weeks ago. This time it was gradual. We could just tell something was off and so we brought her to a vet. So over the next week or so, I brought Mabel to five different vet appointments. We went to three different vet offices. One of them had such a long line that we are waiting there for six hours. And at each appointment, we are given more pain meds and we were told that it would go away on its own. Mabel even had acupuncture and laser therapy, which were not cheap, but we just wanted to try anything to help her heal and help with her pain. As each day went by, Mabel was getting worse and worse and taking care of her became a full-time job. Eventually her back legs didn't work at all and she was totally incontinent. Um, <laughs> it's raining outside right now, which is just a total mood. She was using the bathroom all over herself every hour. So she just needed constant surveillance. We were buying her diapers and puppy pads and um, we got her these new beds that had plastic on the inside. After another round of acupuncture and laser therapy and more vets telling us that she was gonna heal on her own, I brought Mabel to a neurologist. He immediately told us that Mabel would need emergency surgery before her paralysis became permanent. At this point, Mabel just seemed listless and sad and she couldn't move, she couldn't walk. All I wanted was for my dog to be happy again. We agreed that Mabel should have the surgery. We trusted this neurologist. He even told us about his own Frenchie who looks a lot like Mabel. So next Mabel had an MRI so they could confirm where she needed the surgery and then she immediately went into surgery. She spent a couple days there recovering. We weren't allowed to see her for a couple days because they didn't want us to get her excited because she was supposed to lie completely still. So after waiting a couple days, I drove to that hospital to pick up Mabel. I wasn't sure what state she was gonna be in and I was told it was gonna be a long healing process for her to walk again. And I was waiting for Mabel and the nurse went to go get her and Mabel walked out to me in the lobby and she was so happy and it just made me so happy. And I was just shocked that she could already walk again. She wasn't in pain. So Mabel's doing great. She's recovering. She's on strict bed rest, so she needs constant surveillance if she's not in her crate. Next, I want to talk about how to minimize the risk of IVDD in your Frenchie or other dog who is susceptible to this disease. The best thing you can do to try to avoid problems associated with IVDD is to control your Frenchie's activity. Don't let your Frenchie walk up or down stairs 
Don't let them jump on or off the couch or on or off the bed. These were pretty easy for us because Mabel doesn't like stairs. She waits for us to carry her like the true diva she is. And she never tries to jump on or off the bed, but occasionally she'll get really excited and just sprint towards the couch and she wants to jump on and off the couch like a parkour athlete, which is why she needs constant surveillance. And to help prevent jumping, we are going to get a ramp for Mabel onto the couch. So that's another tip. You can get a ramp for your French Bulldog to prevent them from jumping on and off the couch. Next, no crazy rough housing or especially no tug of war. Um, anything that's gonna jerk on their spine like that is not a good thing. Next, when walking your dog, I'd recommend using a harness instead of a collar. And also keep your Frenchie horizontal when you lift them. Make sure to support the butt. Also, we got Mabel solid memory foam dog beds to help with any joint pain. Mabel has this big fancy memory foam dog bed now. I was cuddling with her the other day and I fell asleep on it for two hours. <laughs> Make sure your Frenchie isn't running and jumping around when you're not home. Mabel is crate trained and she feels like her crate is her safe space. If we don't crate her when we leave, she gets very anxious, searches the house for us, she'll run up the stairs. She'll just keep searching for us the whole time we're gone. But when we put her in the crate, that's her safe space and she relaxes, takes a nap because she knows that we're coming back. So if you're thinking your Frenchie is going to be sprinting around and jumping around while you're gone, I would recommend crating them while you're gone. If your dog has already been diagnosed like Mabel, even post-surgery, we're going to have to really double down on prevention. We're really scared of her IBDD flaring back up again. Mabel's neurologist who did the surgery on her we asked him for advice. The neurologist said just to always walk Mabel on a leash with a harness instead of letting her run wild, sprinting at top speeds to try to chase a ball or a squirrel, which can cause another disc slip. Lastly, I know I've mentioned this before, but if you have a French Bulldog, get pet insurance. Even though we did our best to protect Mabel's back, sometimes IVDD just happens. And get better pet insurance than I have because currently we are drowning in vet bills. Nationwide is not always on your side. I'm going to upgrade my insurance to the best coverage possible as soon as I'm allowed to next year. I might make an update video in a couple months to show Mabel's progress, how she's healing up. Let me know if any of you guys are interested in that. Maybe that would be helpful to you guys who have a Frenchie or thinking about getting a Frenchie or if you have a dog with IVDD. It can be very stressful and emotional. It's really hard to see your dog in pain and not know what to do. If any of you guys have dogs with IBDD, just be there for one another. I'm so thankful I found a neurologist who recognized what Mabel needed and who had a Frenchie of his own that looked so much like Mabel. That was very comforting in a very stressful situation. Mabel has a checkup in a couple weeks. She'll be getting out her staples and then she'll be healing for the next few months, but she's supposed to make a full recovery. Thanks for sticking with me. I know this isn't my regular type of video. I will have more art content coming up soon. Well, actually I'm gonna have a vlog next week. I might have two videos next week. I hope this video was helpful. Uh, if you don't mind, please give it a thumbs up because that helps my videos get seen. And if you wanna see more videos, make sure to subscribe. Bye.